so this is, this is probably a bread oven but again there's no access i mean <laughs> if in the kitchen <laughs> if it was if the the wall was cleared i'm yeah. sure there would be an access to it yeah. but at the moment but it looks like a bread oven yeah don't know if you can see, but if I sort of point it out with a finger, there's a line there who looks to be the entrance to a blocked up bread oven on the inside. If I scroll up again there, there's a wooden lintel in the wall as well. Um, so, we think that's where our bread oven is. And if I scroll up again, there is something which is what well, well, we think is a later edition. It's nothing to do with a bread oven. That is a 1970s chimney, which is probably a later edition, we think, um, which was added for a wood burning stove, which was in the corner of the room. So we don't think that is anything to do with the bread oven at all. Um, so, yeah, we've got to excavate. Um, that lintel there is about five foot um, four off the floor and everything below that height there is solid soil and the bread oven is about ten foot eight wide so we've got one heck of a lot of digging to do. When it's 38 degrees outside and you're ripping the roof off a uh, bread oven, it's pretty easy to get distracted. This is what I've done so far. All I was actually intending to do was get some breeze blocks for uh, getting in and out of the uh, bread oven. And what I actually did was I cleared the path all down the side of the house and... Uh, I discovered well underneath here is two taps which I think is a mystery pipe which leads into the boiler room uh, which is the spring pipe for the barn opposite uh, where he feeds his cows during winter and the spring pipe where we're currently getting water from at the moment and this is a soak away for a sink that used to be this side of the house and the two taps which are in this hole are pretty much buried in sand but you can sort of uncover cover them and uh, under here this is all sort of broken up tiles so we reckon this uh, area here that, which it just had slate tiles on it used to have a terracotta roof and in the back here uh, there's a sort of like a vent that went through to a boiler in the kitchen and this uh, if you follow up here that's the sort of chimney that goes up to the roof we reckon that's probably a bit of a later addition i reckon this floor that i've subsequently cleared out the bread oven's probably underneath here uh, Yet to find out because I've not dug it out because we only just got a pickaxe this morning. Um, yeah, but yeah, ripped the tiles off. But yeah, the the tiles I reckon on the roof of here originally were terracotta, and they're uh, all broken up underneath here. See, that is, that's what one of the terracotta tiles looked like originally, and the, on the roof of here. Originally was all terracotta tiles. Found um, dozens of bottles. Uh, this one tin. Um, found a sort of. Uh, I think that's actually brass. Uh, yeah, some of them have fancy labels on them. Um, yeah, some of the uh, 
medicine bottles. Um, I've got arsenide and a tincture of arsenide or something written on them. So yeah, uh, I wouldn't like to drink them. Yeah, but obviously it was a medicine back in the day. But that beam at the back, absolutely riddled with woodworm. So I'm going to take that out and replace it. Um, the slates that came out at the top, I've laid them out all in piles. But I uh, don't know if you can see, but the, the slates on our house at home in... Uh, wow, that's really hot. Um, yeah, that was, that was really hot. Uh, the slates on our house at... Um, in Dorset in England uh, they they are much thicker and um, you almost need a glass cutter to cut them uh, I assume they're probably Welsh slate or something like that uh, they're very hard very um, you know solid slates whereas these slates uh, much different consistency you can you can crumble them they're not the same quality as Welsh slate so um, yeah uh, shame really I don't know if you can see but I've just been taking the pickaxe to this and I've just found a lot of terracotta tiles uh, they're either the roof or they're the floor of the bread oven. Uh, the interesting thing is, uh, it, in in the kitchen, which is through that hatch, they'd be eye level. Uh, so either that is where they took the bread in and out, or when you look in the kitchen, uh, there is a blocked up hole and there is a, on the floor, there's a wooden lintel. I don't know if you can see that, pick that out. Where something has been blocked up in the past. And uh, in the kitchen below that, there is a load of terracotta tiles that have been sort of bodge put in, all below that. So underneath that sort of wooden lintel, it's a whole stack of sort of like what looks like roof tiles being bodge slotted in in a sort of hickledy pickledy manner. Sort of un underneath that, thought I'd get an action shot of him. So what an amazing find! Yeah. All this sand is being faked on. Yeah, you can see how how it tough is it is. Absolutely rock solid. But then again, when I was taking off the uh, slate tiles, there had been a fire in there because uh, the slate tiles um, had turned to dust. Hey, so less, less talking and more digging. Hey, if hey, you can't dig and talk, don't down, talk. Calm down. <laughs> I want to so, see. Hurry up. <laughs> so about here, someone had had a fire. You can see all the black yeah. on the, the sand. So uh, that might have just been where somebody had had a fire. Yeah, that was, Some yeah. idiot had a fire. If it's a bread oven, I think. No, but somebody had uh, lit a fire in here. See that? That's been burnt on. So that might have just been some kid having a fire. I really should be gardening out the front, but I am dying to see what's under here. And also, it's making me making me empty the barrows. Alright, this is our discovery of the day. Uh, basically, it's sunk in a bit in the middle and it definitely sounds a little bit more hollow. But there's some rather lovely terracotta tiles. They don't quite go all the way to the back wall, but they're underneath at the sides. So, uh, yeah, that's rather lovely, I think. Um, yeah. 
There's a wooden beam which is definitely a bit burnt away at the back. Uh, full of wood burn, as always. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll show you what's underneath one of the tiles. It's basically just sand. They're about three quarters of an inch thick. Right. Let's see if I can get my fingers under it. Here we go. Yeah. Just sand and a little bug. About three quarters of an inch thick. See? Yeah. Put it back so we don't lose it. There you go. One terracotta roof. As you can see, I've been uh, lifting up the floor and uh, some of the uh, tiles are in pretty good condition and uh, some of them aren't. Basically, the surface just crumbles away under your fingers and uh, this, well, yeah, this one uh, cracked. We were planning on reusing this floor as the uh, floor of the um, toilet extension. Uh, hopefully we still can, but we might have to find the odd tile from elsewhere. Um, yeah, uh, I think we might be able to sort of basically cut down a roof tile or something like that and disguise it in. But uh, yeah, it's coming up pretty easy, but we'll see how we go. Right, next mystery, I've discovered, I don't know if you can see this, row or circular ring of slates uh, mixed with chalk. These are about a foot down from the uh, slate tiles we discovered. Uh, got to stop now, firstly because my shoulder is absolutely killing me. And secondly, because the skies have opened up. So, yeah, probably going to, the weather forecast says this is going to set in for three days. So, yeah, got to stop now. So, that's it for a few days.